the day they were now taking me to go and check my lungs. Kolubu was now taking me to go. After four days, after three and a half days, Kolubu was now taking me to go and check the status of my lungs. After three and a half days. So the doctors just came and said, from Kolubu and said, uh, from Ayama and said, it's okay, it's okay. We are taking him like that. My saturation was 70, 65 to 70. It dropped from 85. From 85 to 65. Almost going. Yeah, 65, you're almost gone. Yes. When the doctors came, they put me on the oxygen, they, they checked my saturation. They were like, ah, what happened? The level of negligence in that hospital is what is killing the people. Hassan, what would you do differently if you become the president, especially Kolebu, because you've had experience there? Oh my God. What I would do there would be serious. I would refurbish Kolebu. I would change the management of Kolebu. I will even, I will make sure that even nurses and doctors there have to go for extra training. Because when, when you go, the people don't really care because they see death every day. They assume it's normal for people to die. Do you think the management of Kolebu currently is bad? For the time I was there, it's bad. For the time I was there, it was very bad. Because people sit down, somebody is crying, dying. I go to Kolebu, even people were lying on the floor with water coming from the ambulance section. Water, water, water. I mean, are we serious as a nation? Government is not doing anything about Kolebu. Did you reach out even to the ICU unit was closed down? Did you reach out to the president to share this with him? I reached out with the chief of staff and I told her. And I'm sure she's conveyed it to the president. And nothing has been done about it? I don't know. Or you haven't Since followed, I haven't up, on followed it. up on that. But I tell you, Kolobu is a death trap. I pity people who go to Kolobu.